There's still three players here. Slow Orb goes in. They can take the fights here on the site. Moose with a beautiful flash point. Catches three players blind, but there's that individual aim, and Tex comes to life. Big from Thief and Stellar though, taking a couple back, but NRG still overwhelming that heaven area. The plan finally going down with barely any time, and indeed it does. Android now has to fight up the pillar. Salmon an awkward angle, takes down a Proto. It's the off, and oh, the frenzy! Backs away, that wall's not gonna do anything. It's a back gap in it too. Your boy Dre in a beautiful position, picks down Android, and the rest of NRG still stomping their way into heaven. They're gonna run into a player, heading up nice. into elevator. This is Thief around the corner, up close and personal. Gonna be able to get one, but still a second actually barely able to get the second. Tex goes down as Thief is full flash. Salma the return frag. Salm gets another one. Oh, the Vandal coming up. Waiting for that second Tex, seeing oh, it even went down to half. And no, it didn't. Salm with 23 HP. Timing for Thief. It's, uh, it, it sucks a little bit. It stings. But now, Stellar down on side. Gonna be able to pick up. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Picks down Android. No problems. Uh, and it, what a shot from Stellar that no might words. not be enough. There should be no way they can pull this off, but they're right behind the wall. Jet Knives are out, Gus, and they've got flashes, I think, too. That's in a great position. Not only that, but it's a crossfire, too, with the potential for a trade from Tex. Tex actually goes oh. for the first contact, and they don't anticipate Som at all. Som gets the pick. Tex... Yeah, it's the breach fault line. It's a great understanding, great understanding from EU as to where to place the fall in and Android, where to route the blast back to the point where they understand where that reposition is going to be. They make the read and they've got the sight. Som though does end up taking his first death, unfortunately. No more Mr. Nice Guy as Thief. Nades go in, Android forced to swing, and now they've got an advantage. Takes one back, has to find another, but EU and Tex actually combine. EU has to run away. Oh, oh no, he misses out on the gate, making his way into elevator. And now Dabs, the last Dabs. one on side, holds it down against your boy Drain around the corner. One lead, you're still pre feeling pretty confident. Stars are littered across here towards mid. A huge fight awaiting to happen with both Dre and Thief ready for the cross and Dre. Ooh. Stellar. Dropping down a star, and that's an early nebula. 50 seconds left in NRG. They have to wait up a little bit more time. Look out for Daps, though. Playing out Lurk over towards mid, but more than anything. I don't know if they were if they could even get the spike down, and they might need to use it on an exec, but no. They're going for the same B hit. If they, if they can get the B main plant, there's a chance in EU quick with a trick. It's almost like that stereotype in shooters what? that the defensive side get that advantage, but wow! Okay, never mind. Let's not talk about the map. Let's talk about the coast to coast. Thief nailing down on one player from the showstopper from bottom mid to top mid that runs into a mosh pit of attackers down in bottom mid. I, I, I can't believe it. All right, Android is picked back up, but the ni oh no, the knives. It comes out, but it's not able to nail down anything. Instead, Tex and Daps, they have to fight out the heaven approach. It's pure chaos, Sully, but it comes out in NRG's advantage. Moose is still fighting up that side. He has a spike right in front of him. Som goes for the white peak, gonna go down. Both players are still here. Android with a quick trade back just on the pistol alone. Boobot on the front lines but it's a reload back from moose 50 hp left the cage it all four players to make their way on site the wall hasn't even gone down yet a proto Five still back eight. in elbow but not able to get more than one your boy dre down to 33 hp there's some on site gets a little bit flashed but some stays alive gets the kill moves from around the corner with a couple of shots from the sheriff and it works the spike is down in no man's land right in the right in the middle of sight nrg can't go for it thus just yet Android still on top of heaven. There's so many angles that he has to look out for. He might just get overwhelmed in just a little bit. They peek out anyways. Moose gets the kill. Thief with it another. It's true. It repeats every single time. LG is just fighting up this mid side, and now it just gets even worse. Wow. Out. Thief with a quick 2K. Android same for the B side, but now he might have made a little bit of noise. Stellar looks out for him. That's cool, calm, and collected. The head of NRG wow. is not going to get it done. Use it, but is that the goal here? They work their way out of sight. It's all coming down to the kills. If they can get kills out of the site, which they can, a showstopper out and an instant trade back from Thief. Showstopper v showstopper. In comes Android. There's one more player in that back line. Stellar, that showstopper is going to hit him. It's going to kill him. Stellar goes down. Still now a two on two as a proto takes down Android. Now, last two players for LG have to make this retake in the exact same spot. The shots from Daps, they miss out, but energy, they still win. His rotations as he's really got nowhere to go right now. He hasn't seen anyone pop out of elevator he understands that this is probably gonna be a b hit or a b stack at least by lg because with no one making that rotation they're confident they've got players on the b side to lock it down the late wall goes off that is huge
And now that'll slow things down even further on this A site. Daps being that lurk, but he's getting no progress. Thirty seconds left. And there is even already an after or a flashpoint ready if Thief isn't able to get the kill. Fault line in, but there's no progress here by NRG as Thief finds a second oh off of the paint shells. <laughs> oh, the double nade. We're going back to beta at this point. Gets yet another kill from it, so in comes the last two players for Anard, but even comes out of it. There's still one player back over towards Elbow, but a Proto even stops Android from getting a peek onto Android. So Android is still waiting, so in goes, I'm sorry, not Android, but even then, the rest of Luminosity, they compile themselves into the ramp area, and they get a complete sweep of things, including a 3k from a Proto. He could be able to get himself yet another one. EU just waiting out for the peaks. Tex has got to back away. He's got some reinforcement with some. They're only going to be able to get one as a proto leaps into the site for two. Very quick to take from LG. Again, it's that counter wall that we saw from energy alone in that attacking side. There goes a fault line and nails right into the back elbow area. There's still two players trying to come right out of it. It's NRG down in terms of man, but they're trying to spread themselves out a little bit more as Daps. He actually tries to fight solo and ramp oh. and a Proto back with a frenzy. Able to get two massive kills onto or They need to have a contingency plan for it. So you know what? For Moose's sake, I'm going to stop saying the word easy. It was still hard. LG, they had to have their plan set and indeed oh. they got it. But this time though, they're running into a minefield and it's set up by Android. Android nails down two with just a nade. LG, they still have all three on site. They can't abandon it now. Everyone from NRG is here. Your boy Dre on the front lines runs right into the hole that Android is set up with this wall he's still looking for more he still has a satchel to potentially get some more get the fourth on top of the wall and android gets an ace still doubling back to a it seems that well out they go there's one person in the back of heaven it's some some holds it down for at least one can't get a second moves into your boy drake combining for more moves with another one eu with another one back Le luminosity gaming i i don't know how they do it but because of the manpower up in heaven they're still able to win out with a man advantage at the end of that chaos so still one in the back of sight so he's gonna be big dex is here he denies one but the spike is still theirs and the spike will go down daps slowly on the road rotation back in NRG he only has him to hope on I don't know if he's even gonna expect a player to be way back in spawn he had a chance to clutch before in the first half well now he's got to go That's again with the wow. first of it getting aggressive and then the heavens still alive yeah LG this is a little bit different oh, I'm okay quick response of commission here in this engagement Look at this position from Tax. Oh. It's so good. Your boy Dre comes out of nowhere. Stellar holding down the side in such a pivotal position. Look, your boy Dre comes out of nowhere, but he goes down to such low HP. Tex, I can't believe he does it. He was to the corner. The boom bot's not going to be able to catch him either. Off position is a one and done. And Tex takes him down. Not only that, but your boy Dre tries his hardest, but gets traded back immediately. The wall goes down. EU from on top of it. And over towards ramp, they're going to have to pay attention to Daps at this point. And in we go. In comes the take. Immediate rolling thunder. And it catches pretty much everyone. And it works out totally in their favor. Four kills back. Andrew, the last one remaining at a 1v5. And he goes down to 6 HP. He's done and dusted. LG, what a hole. Forward position. This could definitely catch LG off guard because Dex really has never played this position. And then it is going to catch them off guard. Tex for two. Backs off and drops off the wall. And I saw him to help him support. Massive. What a great setup. Som was going to be there anyways to try to hold down what we... And look at this pinch on from Som trying to make his way in through the smoke. Daps gets a kill. And Som's going to be able to execute. They're out and they're not ready for it. Oh no, two players in that same angle. Daps is going to try to help out. Daps ends up going down anyways. Android alongside Tex. They hold it down. However, Som is going to be enough here. Daps is no, all in wow, the pack, and they've even thrown a wall up. So it really is up to Som in this positioning. He is doing a phenomenal job. Wow. Three kills amounts for NRG. And next, you know, it's just up to two. You're really playing off of those Cypher tripwires to adjust your rotations. You, you see most of the time, NRG kind of lean players heavy towards the steps of, of mail room, right towards defender spawn to make quick rotations, right? We don't, we haven't seen anybody from NRG in the back of sight or like kind of standing by that double stack that was, that was recently implemented a couple of patches back. So NRG are playing on their toes, ready for quick rotations, fighting for map control when they need to get it. Like we see a couple of examples when they want to contest over here towards a main. L rotations and it might spell oh defeat no. for them here on split. 
Oh, Som. I think they're playing this very smart retake by Thief. Punished no. quickly by Tax, and now the retake commences. The Cosmic Divide is available, and not only that, they've got a revive as well. So both sides got a 4v5. Both sides with a revive, and we even go back even 4v4. Never mind. An immediate pickup right onto EU. I was just trying to pressure out with Util Energy biding their time. LG, they have two uh, they have two players in the back of sight. Could be a trade back and ramp. Stellar and a Proto, they combine. EU still with a trade back. LG was still two in the back of sight. A Proto Trey. still takes one back, but even then, it's still the trade. Here comes your boy it's not Trey. Planted for him. Dabs is going for the defuse, and it's not planned for him at all. Your boy Trey needs to go for it, but he doesn't have an angle. That's the game one for NRG. Players from NRG in the mid side. That's a big early pick for NRG. That hot hand is going to wrap everyone back towards the back of sight Sully and that's big NRG they explode Tex takes down Stellar Thief now with a 2k your boy Dre around the corner now with a curveball and still has that classic right clicking away now they still have the man advantage and Som is confused where does he even aim I don't know you that well placed nade but that classic heads on and it bursts twice Thief going down to 20 HP and not only that but this gives this gives energy a whole lot of time to rotate towards the back of sight dabs us here on a hunt here if you can get Dre even further along to that ultimate, it would be very nice. A clean shot from Tex does present an opportunity to maybe pull some specter in other hands, make the no next way. bonus. Not the best, but it does One still feel like remaining. that this is a clean round. Yep, but Proto's gonna find this final kill had it not been for Thief and had not been for Dre. One sh have to concede this site because of the run back that Dre had. However, they're ready to burst in in the 5v5. Let's see it. It's all the rifles and they're all in the back of spawn for now. Not a singular person on the wrap to mid. NRG just sticking around in that blaze wall. No, it doesn't wrap into launch. Oh, but oh my! Tex! All three of them knocking down like bowling pins. Holy Tex! There's one right in the middle of the smoke. Drops on out. It's a proto that's only able to get one because of the specter. And now Moose is the last one remaining in a 1v3. Gets a whole. They have advanced a little bit. No smokes out at all. And Tex is quick to punish Stellar. Caught lurking. Very good. In comes that shock dart actually wow. from long range. Thief coming in. You still have Psalm on the judge, but Approcha takes him down immediately. Same thing with Android. Two more players remaining now for LG, and they have an idea of where these last players could be, but they're not peeking whatsoever. Tex now with a wide swing off of the satchel. Spike is uh, down right in the middle of sight. Approcha now with an opportunity for the spray down goes right. Nebula will cover them up for a moment. Oh, there you go, your boy Dre. The curveball into the uppercut. Shot from the sheriff and Thief from behind. He wants to take down EU and it works. Thief with the oh, speed and he oh. takes down a second. Thief, you absolute <laughs> madman. Get in there. Well, position. There's still two players over towards that mid side looking out. Look at the spike from Som and it's more than successful. It is absolutely detrimental to Luminosity. Som sticks around and now he's gone. But Texas adjustments getting aggressive, fighting early fights. And well, it's working out here. Texas even good for three might even find a fourth yard it not been for thief coming around the corner but a one beat that hunter's fury out in the way Nothing. and it only things i want up close the judge saw just sprays it in and ends up taking down your boy dre in the process hunter's fury still goes out or the triple stack if you will and well it doesn't need to use it just yet he's gonna line up two maybe even three dre is gonna try and entry with a run it back they have done a really good job of delaying him On the back, still equalizes one and tag. Oh, oh, exactly. Gets completely flicked on, destroyed by a proto, really. Two players still remaining for NRG. They rotate pretty quickly. They're in pretty good position. Psalm's at, Psalm ends up getting one, but the spike is going to go down fairly quickly. LG still hunting out for the kill onto Daps. Finally come into play. Ya boy, Dre, quickly off the curveball. He still has a second one to use. And the hot hands. Tex would have to satchel his way through. Oh, but Thief from behind with a backstab gets the kill on the text. EU with a great reaction still takes him back and EU still gets a second. Luminosity still with a man advantage. It's gonna be very slow for NRG. These last two players are very disconnected from one another. Daps looking out from the heaven side. Moose looking for yet another backstab. He's right behind him over towards Last bathroom. EU slowly trying to clear. A Proto gets the kill on the Daps. EU takes on bullets from behind. He still takes on a third. 25 HP. And on the other side of the Cosmic Divide at the moment. He walks right on through the cage. Gonna be able to get one. There's still one over towards EU haul at the moment that could be able to trade but no it's not gonna happen thief still takes down daps and saw him around the corner he can't respond
The Cosmic Divide goes down. Not only that, but the Hot Hands right in front Wait. of an Android. A great response. Main Advantage is back for Wait. energy. And Thief, there you go. The firing range is back for him once again. Some picking up the Vandal. And you're gonna use it out immediately for the take and dabs just sprays through the cage and not only that but your boy drink gets shut down and the cosmic divide goes in shutting down the take for lg and like i mentioned tex is here to help out the retake and it's not even a retake it's just a shutdown of positioning stellar takes down tex but at what cost he's done at so much hp you feeling the pressure from bathroom there's a boom bot it's a little bit of a distraction play actually mid-air Strafing actually gets a, a shot to him as he tries to make a retreat. And Stellar's yeah, fighting well. this, that initial kill, and indeed, they're just waltzing their way on. They cut the noise, Sully, and this is all theirs. Andrew gets the kill, and he gets a second, third on the round overall. And now Luminosity, they have a... A little rough, but oh man, look at the damage being done to Android tapping away. Could be able to get himself a fourth. On to Thief, but he loses the battle. Thief's still going for more, but Moose took on a headshot through the wall earlier. He's essentially done for. He has to be so clean. He takes up control of the hookah area. Out goes a massive shock dart. But wow, the blaze wall. It's just grinding out damage onto Thief. Thief still gets one back. Moose with another one, but energy still equalizing the man advantage. EU with one last kill on site. Moose goes down. LG have to make a two-man rotation back in. Two-man retake, but wow. Proto had his opportunity to get oh, the no. kill. Now he's getting pulled into the high hands. What a combo. The communication on that one had to be huge. And now Nebula covers it up as a Proto. If he wants to make his way out, would have to go completely dry. His camera is gone. Stellar still over towards Elbow, making his own moves. But look at the positioning now. An off angle back for Som as he's low on HP. And a Proto, the most important part of this take, at least for now, goes down. But now Stellar in we go. Curveball in, but they don't go for the peak. Wait, time. Three. Recon bolt, the time's going in, like you mentioned, Sully, Stellar, still trying to fight. But NRG, they find themselves a massive route onto site. Psalm is looking oh, for the cleanup. He no, tags one, tags two, tags three. Psalm, clean him up, baby. LG, they're pretty much done for the round. They were feeling the momentum. They were feeling the strength. But this is what NRG does. To go all the way back to the Hunter's Fury, not getting any tags whatsoever. These ultis just aren't getting any mileage. But Thief, oh, knocking in a showstopper, but he's down to 10 HP. Tex getting another kill. Same thing with Stellar. Now the plane is gonna go down. LG, they still have a proto on that back line. Somehow he's still able to get the kill, but he's traded back by EU. The rotation coming in strong for LG. Thief, how are you still alive, my friend? Oh my! Oh! oh EU! Knock him! But it's a quick entry from some, and they've got control of A. Boydray with a curveball, and he's getting choked up by need, but he lands right in front of the doorway. But LG with a massive start. Forcing at the buy, and it's working out for them. The Hunter's Fury is still tagging down onto another Android in the back line. It's a great shutdown of the rotation. Android tagging down Stellar. There is another one over towards that angle, but they know that there's two players over towards Bathroom. That's their new target. Your boy Dre walking out with a Spectre. Dab still has to stay alive, but he just can't. Spike goes down. Tex is the last one remaining and a 1v4. And out of all the players on this server for NRG, this is probably the best player that you want in this type of suit. Players over towards the site. Thief. Oh, oh Thief. Still heading up in hookah as his comrade Moose goes down in a heap. And now Thief is here trying to fight Daps, but he gets straightened out immediately by EU. What your the? boy Dre! Oh, that works! How did that work? Tex gets into the face of your boy Dre, and he can't handle the heat. Stellar gets one back onto Tex, still through the wall and through a smoke, actually. What? Uh, NRG still at a one-man advantage as the spike goes down. Okay, 3v2, still winnable with a Cosmic Divide, but they are on the site. They understand that the threat is Cosmic Divide. They can't be locked out of the site in Hookah and Long, so they take the early fights. They get up close, and I don't even know if LG can be afforded to use this, as now it's wow. just Stellar. A 1v3, an NRG. Surely, this is the 12th. This is nearly impossible for Stellar. Surely. Yet, Moose is the only one that has to knock himself down to a Sheriff. Of course, there are going to be light shields all around, but NRG... Come. Here we go. 12 to 7. Let's go into this round. Oh, indeed they are. Tex showing up with the showstopper. And a proto goes down. Tex with a ditto with a mirror kill. Taking down Thief with a showstopper. Some with another one. And all of the pillars of defense here on the A side are down and out. NRG.
With a three-man advantage off the post plant, Moose only has a sheriff to work with. The Hunter's Theory choking him out. Android gets the kill. 